here at FirstBoxing.com. We in the house with Glenn, Jersey boy, top here, 20 wins, 12 knockouts. You fighting a big fight, James Kirkland. What's your thoughts on this whole big fight? Oh, I can't wait. You know, um, it's a great fight, a great fight for the fans and yeah, people want to see it. So it's perfect, Rest, perfect time. Hold the training camp. Speak about it. Where you trained at? Yeah, um, I trained in Central Jersey. Um, it was real hard, you know. It was, uh, and I'm in the best shape of my life, and now I really feel 100 percent good. No excuses, you know. I, I mean, who helped you out in the training camp? Um, my coach corners? Alex and um, um, uh, um, Chris Chapman. You know, he was my sparring partner, and it was great. It was, he's the greatest pressure fighter. And he takes a punch and he just keeps, keeps coming. So it was great, great. What do you know about James Kirkland? Um, a lot. Man. He, he, was a, he was a great fighter. You know, um, uh, before. Um, um, I know he had a layoff and problem, personal problems, but um, when he did fight, it was, it was fun to watch. So, you know, I, I was a fan. Of him, you know? so, uh, I'm ready. You know, I know, I know what it is. I know what it takes. You know? It's a big uh, stepping stone for you, though. It's a big one right here, though, man. I mean, what are your thoughts? What's going on with between these networks between HBO and Showtime? They're doing events on the same night, my man. Same time. I mean, you know, you got AC about two and a half hours away from New York. I mean, no competition. You come to the AC and I hope people look at HBO more than that. That's all I can say. You know? And I'm fighting on that. You know, I, I guess a lot of people want to see this fight more, you know, so it's perfect. I don't, I don't really care. I, whatever happens, happens. How you see the fight with uh, Zab Jude and Paul Manaj doing down? Um, I think, I think, I think actually Paulie has a little, I mean, he has, he has the chance to, to box him more and just, you know, box him. And I don't know how Zab is winning. You know? so, um, hold up. And then in two weeks, man, you got the big one too with AB and Maidana. How you see that one going down? Um, I think um, Adrian wanna go um, to boxing. He, he's, he's, he's more technical. He's gonna pop shot him and not get hit that much. Maidana is kind of it's tough, tough fighter, but um, he's kind of more wild, you know. I think Adrian wanna. Glenn, let's rewind. I mean, people out there that say they don't know who Glenn Tapio is, say the ones that don't know. Drop the knowledge. Tell them how you got yourself involved in the world of boxing. Um, when I was young, when I, when I, when I first began, yep. um, when I was young, I, um, my brother and the kids from the neighborhood started boxing. I started boxing with them. Um, I actually stopped a little bit, you know, and um, actually coach. When I was like nine, ten, I stopped. My, my coach, um, George Martinez, he's a, he, he ran the PAL. Um, he actually came back to my house and he saw he he saw all the kids in the block. And he, so he, he actually sat down with my parents and stuff. We sat down. And he just he just told them that he's gonna he's gonna end up being in the streets. You don't want him to do that. We just take a chance with this. You know he's just real good. And he asked me to come back to the gym. And I actually said yes because he was there. I was shy to say no. And I said yeah, I was shy. And I, I just went back. And look, changed my life. You know I was still in the streets a little bit. You know but changed my life. Look how I'm at now. You know I changed my life 100 percent 360. And I fight hard, man. I fight hard. I put my heart out there. I I love entertaining fights. I hate war fights. I love people to feel like, oh my God, every time they come to my fight. So that's what I do. You know? Amateur record, what you had? Um, 130 and 13. I mean, the PL, man, that was a beautiful organization here in New York, man. You don't hear about none of that no more. You know, old oh, man, he took that whole program part, my man. It's a sad thing where he said that boxing was one of those uh, crime sports. It was, you know, extreme to the, you know, to the point. But now you got the kids on the streets, you got nothing else to do. What you think about that? That's, that's stupid, man. Even, even when, when, was, when I was young, I, I remember being like, I would say 13 and 14 or something like that. They, they said, they tried to shut it down. They said that, that, we, they, that we, we was teaching, they was teaching kids how to fight, to beat up cops, and to fight cops. You know, so it was, it was real, it was real tough. I had to win the nationals. I went all around America, the world, the world. You know, it changed my life. So if they change that, man, how, what you want me to do? I, I go to the gym after school and be in the street. It changed my life. I mean, you're a professional boxer right now. This is your job, man. You know, I mean, this is a nine to five for you. Wake up, you train. This is everything. It got you at a point where you. You're happy. Yeah. I mean, you're happy with what you're doing. And, and a, besides that, it changed me as a person. You know? Like, I'm a good citizen. You know, um, I want to help the kids. I, I, I inspire kids. You know, I'm a role model. You know, there's a lot of things that come to change the world. You know, besides just being a boxer and playing in that ring. You know? Glenn, keep doing everything what you're doing, man. Represent Jersey, man. And uh, a couple last words for fans worldwide. Um, you know, you guys, I, I fight you guys all the time. Um, 
it's just, it's just um, I'm going to put my heart out there for you guys. So just keep following me. It's going to be a good road. Thank you so much. Always a pleasure.